Hello, welcome back to Zoo Tycoon, which is what we call it from now on, sorry. Um, myself and our character here have a small... What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> we have a small confession to make. Um, the recording for the second episode, um, we were basically finished and my computer crashed. So I lost all the footage, but... Do not fear, I can tell you what we have done, or what we were going to show you in that episode, which is now going to be a show and tell in this episode before we carry on. So, like I said at the end of the first episode, I have put in all the trees and the decorations in all the loose gaps that we have. So, things we have changed or added, we've added all the decorations, we now have a lake. This is our new big large tropical enclosure. Uh, the other thing we did was get rid of this path, because I was an idiot and I wanted it up here in the first place but put it there instead, so now we've got it all the way along here to the toilets. Very long way to walk to the toilets for now. Um, I think that's all we did. Lake, big large tropical area. Oh, we've got some tortoises, and we've got a souvenir shop. Um, and we just did some upgrading, but we're going to jump into a buggy. I thought I was next to the buggies. Jump in an elephant buggy, and we're going to go show you from the ground. So, off we go. And go left, right, left. There is our breeding centre, of course. If we keep going this way. This is our coffee shop. Round to the left is our jaguar enclosure. Straight ahead is now our lake. Can I? Is that a jump? <gasps> it's a jump! Oh, I can't jump back to. Oh, crap. I can drive in the lake, so that's alright. Uh, round the bend. Oh, look at that turn. We are going to go over to here. And this is our new elephant enclosure. Now, we have some things to show you in our elephant enclosure. We have put here a feeding station. Now, here, I can select an elephant. No. Where's Hubert? If I showed you the last elephant, I declared that Hubert, the last elephant, <laughs> the last episode, Hubert is my favourite animal. Not just my favourite elephant, my favourite animal. So, for Hubert, he can have a lemon or an orange? Orange, that's orange. Hubert. Hubert. Hubert, if I keep looking that way now, it's because that's where my laptop is. I want to make sure that it doesn't crash again. Hubert. I bought a stubborn elephant. Hubert. Hubert. Hubert, mate, you want some food? Come on. Hubert. This could just be an episode of sitting and waiting for Hubert to come over. Hubert, I love you mate, but we're going to have to choose someone else. Who's hungry? Ah, uh, Elwood is hungry. It might have to be Elwood. Come on Elwood. We'll get you some food. You can have the lemon or the orange. Where have you gone mate? Not as good as Hubert, but you'll have to do. Elwood, what is this elephant doing? What is Hubert doing? Come on Elwood. Stop trumpeting. And come and have an orange. Elwood, this way. Oh, you're so stubborn. Come on. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. He's taking his sweet time. Come on. Here we go. Right, would you like an orange? Yes. There's an orange. Excellent. Well eaten. What would you like next? What do you want? Some grass? Have some grass. Here you go. Have some grass. There you go. Some grass. Eat the grass. Excellent. Do you want anything else? No? You good? Perfect. Now, we're going to jump back in our elephant buggy. Reverse out. Oh, my elephant buggy makes an elephant horn noise. There's a viewing platform. I've crashed, but we are going to over here. Here is where we're going. We're going to this. This is a hose station. Here we are able to wash the animals. Where's Hubert? Hubert. 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 Come here, Hubert. Hubert. It's now just going to be another five minutes of me sat here shouting Hubert, waiting for Hubert to come over. I can shoot into the sky. Ah, oh, sick. In this enclosure, we have got a grass food over there. We've got some statues. 
we've got more food. We've also got a watering hole and a and a like a thing babies use. We'll show you in a minute. It's like a it's like a um I don't know. It will make sense when I show you it. Uh, there's a waterfall. But we are waiting for Hubert, the world's stubbornest animal. Here he comes. Where are you going? Hubert, this way. No, over here, mate. Yeah. No, no. Yes. Hello. Yeah. Wash the elephant, wash the elephant, wash the elephant, wash the elephant, wash the elephant. Lockdown is getting to me. Damn it, I was trying to go a whole video without saying the word lockdown. There you go, you bear. Right, goodbye. Where's my elephant buggy? In the elephant buggy, off we go. I'm going to go show you that thing I was trying to explain. What are these? What do you call that? What's that called? The play zone. I don't know. Right. So, we are now going to try and finish up this section here. This section could do with filling with trees, as could here, but we are going to come and do them off camera. So, what we're going to do over here is we are going to place a large decorational piece. Not going to lie, to take up a bit of space. How big can we go? Ooh, yeah, we can go big, big. We're going to place that in here, there. In it goes. We're also going to take another one, which we're going to place just in front of it. If it lets me, and no, it's not, so we're going to place it around the side here. It's going to let me do that. It's not going to let me place the thing anyway, is it? We're going to take a small rock and just place it in this gap. Oh, you're kidding. Does that not fit right? Right, small tree. Surely a small tree is going to fit. Yeah, in goes the tree. Oh, but it's destroyed my path. No, no, change my mind. Get rid of that. Let me put my path back. Connect it back to there. Excellent. So, oh yeah, we also put in a lake. I showed you the lake, damn it. So, we've now got our big piece here. We're going to place some decorations in here. So we need to go to scenery, tropical, and the good old place a tree. I did, at the start I cared about where I put these trees, but I've placed so many now I just want them down. I couldn't give a damn as long as it's near a path. Right, so let me stop doing that. Behind here, we're going to place a concession item, food and drink. We're going to pop in a milkshake stand, just there, which we're going to connect to there, and we went up a level but I was too busy doing other stuff, <laughs> upgrade and upgrade, so we need to go to customise, alright calm down, some alpine benches, because these are at the edge, we're going to put them as tall walls. <gasps> Hubert the Indian Elephant is now an adult! Oh, but I liked him as a baby elephant. Excellent. So, customization slots. We are going to put in a big tree. Another little table there. Then we're going to go for a round table, a long table, and a round table. Now, over here we're going to go to concessions again, build another food and drink, but we are going to have an ice cream stand. I'm just going to go here for us, perfectly in that gap we can connect it to here, and we're going to connect it to the elephant enclosure, then the good old usual low, upgrade, upgrade. And then we're going to go to customize, customization slots first, so big tree. And we're going to have two big trees. In the middle, we're going to go for a round table. And we're going to have two little ones at either end. 
we then need to go to customize trees. We need to go to I've just pressed trees, walls, the tall walls, and then we need to go to the paths. Everything takes a bit longer now because I've got quite a bit loaded in. Do you to think it's going to be like at the end? So that is in there. Because we can't fit much in this corner, we're going to decorate it again with a large rock. That's how we're going to decorate this corner. Just so that it's not any barren space. We go around decorate. And we've gone up a level. Then we are going to go around the edge, decorate the edge. And then this part of the tropical area will be done. We're going to speed through this. I'll speed up. So we have finished decorating. Decorating this section needs decorating, but we can leave that for now. But this half of the tropical zone is pretty much done. So we're going to move on to this area here. So first of all, we are going to go to the exhibit. We are going to go straight in with another large exhibit. Now, this time, I'm going to place it again, just a bit off. We're going to go for it right here. So we're actually going to connect it to this elephant plaza up here. And we have gone up a level, up a level, and then we're going to connect it to this here. We're also going to connect it to that enclosure and this enclosure, that's an enclosure, it's a zookeeper centre, and there as well. So everything is going to be connected to this big exhibit. So going into this exhibit, we are going to put some tigers. They need two, two and two, a social group. But we are going to put in the Bengal tiger. So the female there, the male Steve, another female, another female, another female, and then we go the babies. A baby, a baby, another baby, and finally another baby tiger, and one more. That is that section full. So now we're going to go into exhibit items, animal care. Of course, we need to make sure that they can wash. So for that, we are going to give them a bird cleaning station. Up here, we're going to give them nothing there, I've changed my mind. Over here is going to be our meat and they also eat fish, it's our fish section as well. If we then come out of that we go to interactions we are going to put our sensory enrichment for the time is just here. We should be perfectly done there. Enrichments for these tigers we are going to give, we've gone up a level we're going to give them what do tigers like bears, jaguars, lions, antelopes bears, llamas, elephants tigers are a bit dull in this game tiger, you quite like a scratching post sort of, so we'll give you a scratching post which ones do you really like you quite like the peeling pine scratching post you quite like that one the bear one so I'm going to give you that there as a scratching post then we're going to go to decorations. We are, of course, going to decorate your area for you. Over here, we're going to put a natural decoration piece. In the middle, we're going to go for the same one. And out here, we're just going to put in a little fresco. And the same one on the other side. And then, because we still have animal care sections to fill, to feeding over here we are going to give to them something else that ele elephants these are not elephants these are tigers 
We've got two of these to fill. So we're actually going to go back to enrichment and give them something else that they might like. We'll give them two scratching posts. So anything else they kind of like. Slides. Tabletop. Is going to be perfect for our tigers with our jungle jut tabletop. They can sit right there and probably jump onto the people. Um, now, of course, every time that we make an enclosure, we then have to customise it to make sure that the trees are alpine trees, to make sure that we have got small alpine walls in this section, and that the paths are, of course, Andean just to match with the rest of the tropical area. That is taking a very long time to change. Now, of course, every time that we get... Look at the lag. We've only got this much. Of course, every time that we get a new area, we need to go and make sure that we have the staff for it. So we're going to hire a new zookeeper in Bob. Welcome, Bob. And then we're going to head back over to the other side to our breeding center. Here we need to hire another member of staff in the form of Jimmy. We're going to assign Jimmy to the Tropical Large One, which is our elephants. We're then going to hire someone else in MTS. We're going to go with our tigers. Perfect. So, we are going to go for... Unless you can get a mini exhibit in one of these. A tropical pool. Yeah, you can. We're going to get a tropical pool right in there. Which we're going to connect to our breeding centre. It's not a breeding centre, it's the zookeeper centre. Attached to our cougars and, of course, our tigers. We have gone up a level. Excellent. Oh, we've unlocked crocodiles. Attached to the tigers. It also just means I have less decoration to do animal to have in here so we are going to have some caimans we're going to go for least concern least concern least. south america south america south america we're going to go for a spectacled caiman we're going to take dd and we're going to take shepherd so you can only get two yes jump in here and you can see we now have our two caimans there and there perfect so, this will be decoration, 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 if I fit anything, decoration all around here as well. We have also got this space to use now, because we have quite a few enclosures in this area. I'm going to go and add another small tropical exhibit over here. Just a little one. We're going to connect it up to there. We're also going to connect it to our tiger enclosure. Good old customizer of trees. That was a lot faster this time. Some small alpine walls and of course the paths as well. Perfect. So in here we're now going to put our animals. We're going to go for some more jaguars. Now this time we're going to Oh, I wanted the Amazon Jaguar. Not yet. Okay, instead we are going to place some more chimps. They need four animals, so they won't fit in a small enclosure. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of it and instead build a medium-sized one so we can get the right amount of chimpanzees in. And you're going to fit perfectly there. We are, of course, going to connect to our zookeeper centre and our tigers once again. And it means that we have to go through the customise again. But we know what we're doing there. We have gone up again. We can have three toad sloth, which is nice. We are, of course, going to go to alpine trees. We are going to go for some small walls. And, of course, our Andean paths, wherever they have gone. Perfect, they should all be loading in. Excellent. So now we've done that, we can go and select our animals. So we are going to go for some chimps in here. 
We took the bonobo chimps last time, this time we're going to take the Nigerian Cameroon chimpanzees. So we're going to take a female, a male, a baby, and another baby, before we go for a female. And that is our section full. So of course, once again, we need two animal care. We're going to go here our stone bird cleaning centre and on the other side it's going to be a fruit feeding station however can you hand feed the chimps and if it's just antelopes, alpacas, llamas, kangaroos no you can't we're of course going to put our sensory enrichment in then we're going to go back to our animal care we're going to place our fruit feeding station here and over here, we are going to have enrichments for them. We are going to give them a climbing frame in the form of a monkey mask climbing frame. Good old decorations. It's a crowded little corner. We're going to have our rock. We have got upper level. Oh, we didn't get much there. We're going to put in here is going to be one of these. Over here we're going to have our statue, and we're going to have another statue in the corner, I think. So, if we were to do zoo view, jump in here, there we go. We have our medium enclosure for all our chimpanzees. Now, if we go back into this view, go to here. If we click this, we can go in and see admission price. We're going to make free, because we don't need to make any money. Uh, advertising will help us get some more people through the doors and we're also going to if you click zoo news it will tell us all about the things that are happening at our zoo all to do with chimpanzees just because I put in an absolute load of them if we now go to research everything should be unlocked Perfect. and we're gonna go global customization no we're not doing no 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 that was very close if we go to economy breakdown it will tell us our costs per minute and our incomes per minute. At the moment, we are not making any money whatsoever, but that does not matter because we have unlimited money. So I don't care. Wrong button. So if we go and zoom out, we pick our animals' happiness. All our animals are extremely happy. None of them are hungry. All of them are clean. This section, there is only four there is only three for an enclosure they quite like four so we may move them to a different enclosure at some point that's why their habitat is also down animal levels have we got any 15? ah we've got 15s right we're going to jump into here this is of course remember our cougar enclosure what we're going to do here is we are going to edit our and press animals if we view our animals we can go to our level 15, which is Arturo. Yes, so if we select Arturo, we are now able to release him to the wild as he has reached level 15. So he will now be released to the wild. At some point, I'm pretty sure he's going to be released to the wild. This will be the last thing for this episode, him being released to the wild. Come on, mate, be released to the wild. I mean, he could just jump over the barrier from there. goes now another one up there it's good he just stands where he's supposed to as I've said that off he goes here comes the helicopter to collect him for release to the wild there he goes off to the wild he has arrived so we can go to the animal release map and it will tell us where all the animals all the animals that we release where they go there we go so that is the end of the episode we will get all this decoration filled in and hopefully next episode we can finish these two tropical areas. Probably both have one in exhibit in them. Maybe a medium sized one here and a small sized one on this side. But we will do that in another episode for now. We do hope we... Ooh, I can't speak. We do hope you've enjoyed and see ya. Chip and sit. Yeah.
Look, look. Pull up, pull up in the gold I'm leading. But them all the man need feeding. I don't wanna go bombi. Them I don't know what I do when I go from Beeling. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with a bag. Snapping with a phone and dab. Boss up a man with a duster. Put him in a drip and sip blockbuster. 